Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be installing the physical card and the drivers. Now this part isn't really that critical, but in my recent build, I looked up the IRQ assignments for my motherboard. And this shows you which parts of the motherboard are sharing bandwidth. And as you can see that I have seven PCI Express slots. And uh, slots two and three are not shared with anything, only each other. So I'm going to put it in the third slot. That's because my graphics card is blocking the second one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my computer is powered off and unplugged. I'm going to open up the side panel and locate my chosen PCI slot. It's usually written down on the motherboard if you want to double check, but just count them down. It should basically just slide in, uh, put the screw in, and then uh, you're good to go. Do not plug your interface in at this moment. Just uh, close up your case and turn on your PC. So after installing your card and booting up your machine, Windows will have automatically installed the drivers. Uh, they automatically install in uh, 7, 8, and 8.1. Uh, you don't need to install any uh, driver CD. So what I want you to do is I want you to uh, go into your control panel. I'm just going to do it on here so you can see what I'm doing. I just right click, personalize, control panel home, right there. Um, you might be in uh, this type of thing. Uh, or a, cat a category view. I want you to set it to small icons. It displays everything. I want you to go to system and then I want you to go to phone device manager and then you'll see all your device manager all your devices here and you want to make sure that it installed correctly. So what you will see hopefully most likely is uh, IEE 1394 which is a firewire host controllers. You want to click that drop down menu and then you will see automatically, hopefully, uh, the Texas Instruments uh, uh, OHCI compliant host controller, right? And that should automatically be installed. If that's where it is, then you're good to go. Um, if it's not, you might not have a legitimate uh, card with a legitimate uh, chip on it, or maybe something happened and you got confused. Uh, so you're going to want to go to properties. If it's not, Go to driver, update driver, browse my computer, let me pick, and then you'll see um, 1394 this year. This will not. This will be like a basic non-Texas Instrument one. Uh, this would be if you had like one of those junk VIA ones. But yeah, you should have this. Um, if you don't, then maybe your Windows isn't updated. But they all ship with this automatically. It's tried and tested, and you should have no problems and then you hit next and then it installs. Then you restart. If you bought a FireWire card that was secondhand that may be a little bit older, then you should be using the legacy FireWire drivers, which aren't included in uh, Windows. Um, so uh, up until recently, Focusrite recommended using them, but they have since updated the uh, mix control um, to support the latest uh, FireWire uh, drivers. Um, sometimes, yeah, some things won't necessarily work that well using the newer Texas Instruments one. Uh, you have to change it to the legacy. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, legacy FireWire driver, Windows 8, and then uh, you're going to want to go to this first link that is here. And then you'll see that it's here. Uh, they have recently um, added this because some uh, some people have had problems with um, older DV cams, uh, cameras for capturing video, uh, and there just have been problems. So they've kind of ported the legacy FireWire drivers over to Windows 8 and 8.1, and then you can just download it right there, and then you're good to go. Um, once you've downloaded that, you go back into uh, My Devices, um, and then you uh, install the driver, and it should show up and then you install it, and then you shouldn't have any problems. After you verify that the correct FireWire drivers are installed in your system, you're going to want to shut it all down. Make sure that both your computer and interface are off. This could cause damage when plugging in the cable. Go ahead and plug in your cable, turn your computer on, but do not turn on your interface. The final step uh, really depends on your card, so you're going to have to follow the instructions provided by your manufacturer. Uh, usually you just go to the website, uh, download the latest drivers, 
uh, install them and uh, make sure the device is off. Only turn it on when the when the uh, installer prompts you to, um, and then you shouldn't have uh, any issues. And uh, after that, you should have a solid working uh, FireWire interface. Uh, so hope you enjoyed. Uh, take care and have a good one.